It's good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone. Race three on the card, the first leg of the place accumulators, a maiden plate over 2,000 metres. The third race goes off at five past one. It's going to be quite a testing 2,000 metres with the sting likely to be out of the ground. Before we discuss the form, let's hear from Frank Robinson and Peter Musket. Yeah, look, he's been obviously a frustrating horse. I mean, he had little niggles and uh, he, he, he's quite an obstinate horse. He, you know, he's a bit lazy and you've got to always... So I've been doing interval work with him. He's come through his work actually very well. I'm happy with his work. Um, yeah, he, he, he'll run a big race, I'm sure. Um, as he's got older too, he's got a bit better. And uh, no, he's, he's been working hard and doing well. I'm happy with him. Yeah, Mighty Mashon has been gelded since his last start. Um, he has given every indication he wants a trip. Uh, he's, he's been in the army since, he's, since he was gelded and he's fit enough to do himself justice over the 2000. Um, him too, if he brings his homework, uh, he can be competitive. So certainly number seven, Mighty Mishana, is one to watch out for, one to consider for quartets. He's having his first run as a gelding, the three-year-old son of Master of My Fate. Rahil, obvious improvement to come from number two, Bushfire, but uh, well, I'm going to adopt a wait-and-see approach with number two, Bushfire. He's only having his third start. He was quite far back behind Q Wing in a, in a modest maiden lineup, but the extra two, uh, the trip up to uh, 2,000 metres will suit. I'm going to give, quite confidently, number six, the Green Gallant, another chance. He, he rates my top choice. Yes, he does rate my top choice as well. I just made it a boat race between the six and the three, but preference is for the six Green Gallant. In his last two starts, he's just taken a bit of time to get going. And I think now, running after rest, Frank Robinson did sound upbeat about his chances here. So I'm hoping that he does get the job done, returns to the turf, second try on the turf. He did run at the, on the turf surface at Scottsville, but that was down the lane over the 1,000 metres. Over the 2,000, I think it's going to suit him nicely, and I'm expecting a big run from the Green Gallant. Obviously, there are a few others with form. Number three, Prince Vian has certainly improved in his last three outings. Number four, Coral Copy has got uh, pretty decent form in modest maiden lineups, but he's effective over track and trip, so you've got to respect number four, Coral Copy. Mighty Mashona, as we've mentioned, could improve after gelding. And then, of course, there's Paul Lafferty's five-year-old son of Lingari, number 12, Gray Lingari, who's also knocking very loudly at the door. So you make it a kind of a boat race between number three, Prince Vian, and number six, the Green Gallant. So you're not really accept, uh, accept, expecting too much of an upset in the first leg of the place accumulator? No, I'm looking for form results and likely the six, the Green Gallant, Prince Vian and Grey Lingari could likely finish in the top three. Well, I'm certainly in your camp, Rahil. Number, f number six, the Green Gallant is one of my suggested place accumulator bankers, as you will see when we get to the shortlist. So that's race three. We're both in the camp of the Frank Robinson trained number six, the Green Gallant. I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money. Two seconds later, it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. 